Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today, as you can see in the title, I have another perfume haul. I know, I know, I know. Let's move on, okay? I know. Don't tell me you have to make... Don't, don't, don't. I know. I got all of this just because of you guys, okay? You told me that I have to try them or to retry them and I said, okay, fine, I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna see what they're talking about and guys... I have to tell you thank you thank you thank you thank you i really like everything that i got in here so like always five new perfumes uh this time everything is very purple i got just purple bottles uh i i think i didn't have any purple bottles now i have five of them so yeah they look nice they look cute the juice inside is amazing so let's start first we have a very very popular perfume Amethyst by Lalique, okay? This I got also because, I mean, everyone was talking about this on YouTube, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure just because people were saying that it has this greenness to it. Um, some people were saying that it's a little bit vintagey, and uh, I said, no, I, I can't deal with it, no. I had some of you that told me in the comments, try it, it's very good. And also, this is more like YouTubers, uh, slash subscribers made me buy it also mj maria she got this one and i really like how she described it so i said okay i'm gonna buy it so that's the box and that is the bottle i'm gonna be super honest with you when i was seeing this this bottle in videos i wasn't the biggest fan i was like oh, that's kind of ugly but in reality it's nice in reality it's actually a very nice bottle so this one has as main notes black currant, blackberry, blueberry, mulberry, musk, and pe pepper. This, this smells exactly like MJ described this. <sighs> Don't think this is a syrupy, very syrupy scent. No. It has some a greenness, but it's not green. It's not like grass. It's not that type of green it smells exactly how she described it. and she said this one smells like um a cold berry tea and you have lots of ice inside and you have also the leaves in 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 the, in the cup i really like it she inserted a picture and when i saw that picture i was like yeah i hope it's gonna smell like that i'm gonna insert also here a picture this smells like this okay I know some people were complaining about the lasting power on me. It lasted like five hours. I, I cannot complain, especially for the price. I think the 100 ml was around 20 pounds, if I'm not wrong. I really like the scent. I have to tell you, I really, really like the scent. It's very different, okay? It's not a syrupy berry. It's not a sweet berry. It's a cold iced tea berry scent. with And you have also the leaves inside. Really like this. The sillage was pretty good i have to be honest it wasn't wow it wasn't bismuth but it was pretty good projection all of that they were they were right especially for the price i think this is perfect for summer evenings it's very refreshing it's refreshing and it's different i really like it i know that probably you're not able to to buy it in, to test it in store because i think like it's just online but i like it i don't see anything vintage in it Yes, it has that greenness, but it's not too green. It doesn't smell like grass. It doesn't have that, you know, uh, Aura by Mugler. That one is very, very green. This one is not like that. Yeah. Overall, I really like this. I'm really happy that I got this one. So, yeah. Amethyst by Lalique. Yes, I do like this. Then we have this. I will never, ever buy this fragrance. But one of you told me that this... It's a dupe for Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. Manifesto. Manifesto? Manifesto. How is it called? Manifesto, I think. It's not Manifesto. Anyway, let's move on. You know which one. This one. Okay. Um, this is by Replay and it's called Stone. That's the box. I got just a 30 mil. was extremely inexpensive. I bought this one from Notino. And that is the bottle. Not the biggest fan of the bottle. Okay, it's kind of tacky, but 
it was cheap so I, I don't mind this one has main notes almond blossom vanilla tonka bean and orchid I've never smelled the Isan Laurent okay so I don't know if they are dupes I really don't know people on Fragrantica they also were saying that this one is a dupe for that Isan Laurent uh, but this one actually lasts better on the skin I have no idea I've never tested that one and I just wanted to ask you if you have this if they're like that similar because if they're that similar I don't need that this one was 10 pounds like I don't need that the 30 ml for that one I think is around 40 or 50 pounds so I'll be happy with this this when I first tested this one I was like okay it's another sweet vanilla almondy perfume but then the dry down it's it's sweet yeah it's sweet it's very creamy but it's not sandalwood creamy no it's not that woody creamy no it's just uh almondy creamy people are saying that this smells like almond cookies and yes especially in the dry down opening it is good but the dry down everything just blends together and everything just the dry down smells like almond cookies and I'm just obsessed I mean I'm obsessed for 10 pounds this one lasted on my skin like five hours I would say which I'm not mad at all for 10 pounds I'm not mad so please let me know if this one is uh, like 100% dupe for that one because if it is I don't need I don't need Yves Saint Laurent I'm good with replay really like this one really really like this one it's almond cookies that's it it's sweet it's gourmand it's a little bit bakery it's it's good good i really like it so yeah stone by replay really like this perfume and also this one i believe it's an edt yeah it's an edt formulation but it lasts five, five hours on my skin so that's not bad at all so yeah let's move on then we have <sighs> Prada Candy Night I had the original Prada Candy I tested that one a lot This is not really a blind buy Because I tested this one right after it was released I think two years ago And my reaction was just like <clears throat> No Like I never had a reaction like that I absolutely hate this I was This is terrible why why they released this perfume no it's absolutely horrible no so one of you told me uh try Prada candy Prada candy night and then i saw on uh, karina's channel i'm gonna link her channel down below she talks about this one a lot and she really really enjoys this perfume so i bought it again in two years i didn't test it okay so i tested this one two years ago and after that no so it was kind of blind, but I just knew that it had it had something in the opening that really, really bothered me. But I said, okay, I'm going to get it anyway, because that's just me. If I want a perfume and I just see the bottle and someone is saying it's amazing, I'll just buy it. That's just my logic. So this one has, in the opening has orange, in the middle has cacao and caramel, and the dry down has vanilla and musk. What? now I remember what I didn't like in the opening you're getting this powdery I don't I don't really get orange maybe just a hint but it smells like um, cacao powder but like very it's not a sweet cacao powder it's like dry and bitter it's bitter chocolate but very 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 dark bitter chocolate but in a powder form that powdery powderiness probably is from the mask then uh, when it dries down it's getting sweeter it's getting a little bit more creamy I'm not, I'm not gonna say bright but in the opening it's very powdery and very I don't know very bitter very 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 bitter I like it okay I really like the dry down I'm still not the biggest fan of the opening I would consider this a gourmand because it's very chocolatey, but it's dark chocolate. It's not milky chocolate, it's dark chocolate, okay? My only complaint is that after two hours is gone. 
I really like the scent. The dry down is this chocolatey, milky, but again, dark chocolate. It's it's very nice. It's a very nice scent. It, it doesn't last and it doesn't project. So mm, that's my only complaint. The scent, it's very good. If I wouldn't see this on Cabrina's channel, probably I would not pick this one up. And I really, really like it. Like now it's getting to the dry down and it's, it's good. It's good, good. That chocolate is, it's, is good but you have to get away with the opening because it can be a little bit too much so yeah Prada kid candy night lovely scent not the biggest fan of the opening but it doesn't last so I'm gonna see probably I'm gonna put a body lotion or something I'm gonna see how this one works on clothes because I wore this one just on my skin so maybe I'm gonna do another review in the future but for now I have to say it doesn't last. So yeah, Prada Candy Night. Okay, so next we have Trussardi Sound of Donna. One of you told me, I think one or two months ago, if I like Girl of Now by Elisab, I will definitely like this one. So I bought it, obviously. Didn't look on Fragrantica. I looked, actually, I looked on Fragrantica after I bought this perfume. So this, I got a 50 ml and I think it was 15 pounds, 18 pounds very inexpensive this this one has as main notes whipped cream almond patchouli and chestnut yeah, it's very almondy it's very creamy okay you can you can smell the whipped cream it's very very creamy and when i looked on fragrantica people were comparing this with this and i have to agree because this one has chestnut as well and has whipped cream as well it has exactly the same creaminess I would say also milkiness, it's a, this one is a little bit milky and nutty, that chestnut, this has exactly like this one. But, I would say this one is sweeter, okay, this can be in my opinion a little bit unisex, this one is sweeter and it has that girl of now almond. I would say Sound of Donna, it's like 75, no let's say 75? 70 percent 70 percent uh this is her and then 30 percent girl of now so if you like these two scents probably you're gonna like sound of donna have to be super honest with you when i first got it i wasn't the biggest fan but it was very very warm outside and the chestnut and the the whipped cream all of that was just too much was too heavy it's it's a heavy perfume it's not airy and it's quite heavy but now i really like it and it really projects the projection on this is great it lasts in power four hours but again for the price i cannot complain but the projection was great so really like this one through saturday sound of donna so thank you thank you thank you so much i really really like this one guys tell me in the comments below perfumes that you think that i would like but not super freshy or super uh, florally or you know my taste you know what i like and with this one and with this one i'm like super happy like i will never pick this ones up if you wouldn't tell me so thank you guys and the last one the last one that i said that i will never buy because i tested and i know that it's popular but it's just not my cup of tea and i got it i got it alien by mobile I got just a 30 mil, okay, uh, some of you told me, you have to try it again, you have to try it again, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it again, so I just bought a 30 mil, so, Alien has opening jasmine, middle, woody notes, and dry down amber, this, obviously smells like Alien, and I wasn't the biggest fan of Alien, but now I'm starting to like it. It's still not a love for me. I still prefer uh, Eau Sublime and Essence Absolute. But I really like this one. This is a dark jasmine perfume, a little bit soapy. It's a very unique, different perfume. If you smell Alien, you know how Alien smells and that's it. You, you can't um, I don't know, think that this is another perfume. If you smell Alien, you know it's Alien by Mugler. 
even though this is the reformulation because it's Mugler, it's not Terry Mugler anymore, it lasted on my skin like seven, eight hours. Projection was amazing. It's Mugler all the time. Mo at, at least, in my opinion, Mugler perfumes have great longevity, have great projection. That They're just great. This one is a dark evening perfume, fall, winter. I like it now. I'm not like, eh, not the biggest. No, I like it now. I like it now, but it's still, it's still not a love. I have to test this one more, but I'm happy to have it in my collection. I think Alien is just a staple in everyone's collection and it's something very different, very unique. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. So that was Alien by Mugler and that was the haul for today guys thank you so much for watching if you have any other recommendations please tell me in the comments down below and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next one bye bye